All right, we are back again, the flannel gun guys. But in this video, we'll be discussing both of our radical firearms, AR-15s. Mine is chambered in 300 blackout and his is in 5.56. 5.56. This is his first AR. We're gonna sight it in today. We're gonna do some shooting and we're gonna talk about what we like about them and what we think. This gun's never been shot. Derek's is obviously quite the build here. Um, yep. Quite a few add-ons. I'm probably gonna do a bipod next and then work my way up to a site. Uh, but, Don't forget uh, the the side, the uh, 45 angled iron sight. So if you need to shoot something close range, you can quickly turn that over. Mine is also and be not on sighted in yet. So we're gonna, yeah, his isn't sighted in, but we'll get that sighted in real fast. A few times and see what happens. Both got the same rails on there. This is the, one of our favorite rails. I think it's nice and beefy and it's smooth here. It then has a Picatinny rail down towards the end of the barrel. I like how it goes the full barrel, full length rail. Oh yeah, gotta have the full length there. Yeah, you and never wanna go into the bedroom with half a rail, never. <laughs> Ever, but uh, I also have a thread protector on here and he's got a standard A2 birdcage uh, muzzle brake on there, flash hider, so. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and start shooting. Failure to feed again, steel ammo. Yeah, look at that. You'll see here if you want to come see it. It's yep. got the nose right on it. You can point it to the... I don't know if you can see this in the in the deal there, but the nose is not going up onto the ramp. Yeah, I had that same issue on my AR pistol and uh, I had to actually do some custom work there and use my Dremel to really file that down a little bit more. But yeah, we'll see if we can try to break it in some more and see, but yeah, steel ammo. I mean, oh, you can switch mags if you want and see if that improves. Well, all my, I mean, I can try a different mag. All my mags are the same. I've got the $10 mag. From Global Ordinance. Actually, that was only $4.99 on that deal. Oh, that's correct. $5, $5 mag. <laughs> I'm gonna try to rapid fire a little bit and see if I can get it to go in in succession. Okay. Okay, I handled the rest of the mag very well. Yeah, could just be some early break-in, uh, you know, some early break-in troubles, but uh, that was steel ammo. I do have some brass. Uh, I plan on shooting both today, so. All right, let's get it sighted in now. Yep. Cut! You want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead, shoot first. Andrew's gonna shoot his three, his new 5.56 after doing some sighting in. Nice. Damn. Dude, you fucking hit the hinge, I bet. <laughs> look at that. Oh my Would God. Would you just look at it? What did he just do? <laughs> You're just gonna have to shoot it to make it go back down. How did you hit the backside of it? I don't think I did. Oh shit, that was. That's both me. Oh my God. Cause that's my 300 blackout. That's 556. This is 556. <laughs> All right, well, we do know, I mean, it's not the target's fault. I was fully aware that this is not going to be able to handle a rifle round. I just wanted to see what would happen to the it. The kind gentleman at the gun show that sold us this said, do not shoot with an AR-15. So it's not the target's fault. It's not <laughs> yeah. that guy's fault. It's our fault because we just wanted to see what would happen to it. But uh, he does sell targets that are rated for rifles. But yeah, we're just going to stick to pistols on this. How about yeah. that? Yeah, covered up with spray paint, <laughs> sand it down so it, it flows smoothly. It'll be fine, yeah. yeah. But all right, at least we know now. I think it's pretty cool to be honest, you know? Oh, it gives a character. Yeah, I mean, look That's at badass, that. badass, dude. Look at that thing. I I'll mean, <laughs> I mean th this kind of just helps you understand. I don't know. What is this about? And uh, Or three eighths maybe as well. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it, this is pretty solid still. But, you know, that bullet no matter how small it is, still has enough energy and power to do damage like this. I mean, 300 blackout only did this. It dented it. It didn't go as deep as the 5.56, but it is moving at a lot slower rate. Yeah, it does have also so plenty of energy to do some damage there. But all right, well, now we know. Let's just keep shooting. And uh, you, I mean, that one, this one can handle 5.56, no problem, because I was shooting 5.56 on this the other day, and there's no, no craters at all in this. So if Andrew wants, he can go ahead and shoot this, these targets here.
Pew, pew, pew. All right, Delta Bravo here with the Radical Firearms 5.56 iron sights. Let's see if it's still sighted in for my eye. All right, five shots in a row. I don't want to ruin my luck. Yeah, these sights are pretty good. They're dead on right now, so yeah, should be pretty good. All right, let's uh, let's have you try the 300 blackout then. Okay. Actually, let me test my uh, iron sights real quick. So the key to this is just rotating it 45 degrees. It makes it pretty quick and uh, easy for when you need to get on target for something close range. Oh, I hit a moving target. All right. I think it does kick a little bit more, but I mean, it's pretty manageable. Try, try out the iron sights, you know, just quick rotate. I mean, go from scope to rotate and you can get the good feeling. Nice. It does kick, man. It's a little nice bit more, yeah. Yeah. But it's not terrible. Heavier bullet. Does it go longer distance and all that? No, it won't go as far. I mean, uh, 300 Blackout was primarily de de designed for the military to be suppressed in a shorter barrel. I would also use this for home defense, really, because I got the, the iron sights on there if I need to. And this scope, it's still a 3x9 scope, but it's compact. It's not as long as typical 3x9 scopes, which lightens the load, and it's a little bit easier to uh, handle and carry if you want to use it for home defense. Bipod on it for if you want to do long distances. Hit a moving target. Take care of these orange army. That's it. 30 mags, 30 rounds. Okay, there you have it. A few rounds through both of our Radical Firearm AR-15s, 300 Blackout and 5.56. What do you think so far, your first deal with an AR-15 so far? Uh, it's awesome, it is, it's awesome. And you know, something I struggled with when I was looking for which one to buy, especially for my first one, you know, a lot of them I was looking at, you know, Sig Sauer, great guns, over a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars And I was like, man, I wanna buy a nice one. You know, Derek told me, hey, you can get a, a really good gun from Radical for around five, six hundred dollars And uh, he wasn't wrong at all. I mean, this is a, uh, it's a great gun. Comes with the B5 Systems grip, B5 Systems stock, uh, uh, adjustable stock, and full length handguard. It's, it's a great gun. His is the, the steel one. I'm not sure who makes it, if it's Aero Precision, or I don't know if you remember, but you know, I don't think Radical makes their own lowers. I think they outsource them, and then they put their Radical logo on the other side. The uh, safety switch, the, I mean, his came all stock, right? Mine was build it piece by piece. I'll get into that later, but he's got a really nice aggressive safety switch. that's really tactile and you can feel that. And definitely I do like this grip a lot better. It's not as aggressively angled as the standard AR-15 and I'm probably going to shave off this finger groove. But yeah, overall Radical, I first came across them at a, at a local gun show and I just bought the upper only. And you know, the more I talked about it with the guy, I mean, the more I went home to research a little bit and then I, I came back later and bought it. But uh, overall, Radical's quality, I think, is pretty good. And they usually, and they really have good customer service. Anytime I needed customer service, they were right there immediately and were able to help me, whether it was sending something back and getting it returned or fixed or sending something new to replace something. On mine, so everything's built piece by piece. My lower, this is a Palmetto Armory uh, steel lower as well. And I have the uh, nickel nickel boron coated uh, bolt carry group. I just kind of like that. It's a little bit smoother and it does clean up a lot easier. Also got the custom dust cover with the 300 blackout just so I know I'm not loading 5.56 because 5.56 will fit in here. Everything else pretty much stock with the stock, the buffer tube and the, uh, the grip here. And I did put on this oversized trigger guard because uh, if you're wearing gloves or something, I think it just kind of helps you get that extra real estate in that area. But overall, both radical uppers, but yeah, I mean, they're both pretty accurate and feel pretty good. Anything yeah, I mean, say? one one complaint or one thing to point out, it does seem that this gun, which we can't show you, when we took when we did break it down, it had what seemed like a proprietary barrel nut. Yeah, for where you put the handguard on too. Yeah, we, 
uh, the standard AR tool, we, we kind of retrofitted it and made it work. But, but it was it, on there really hard. I yeah, had it was to take on there really tight and it was not perfect. Hopefully we don't have to cross that bridge every single time we clean it, but certainly wanted to mention. Yeah, and it what well, that surprised me because my upper is pretty much the same as yours, except my barrel nut actually fits the AR-15 tool that I have. It is slightly different because I have screws also on that go into the barrel nut on the on the sides of the handguard, but his does not. I mean, his just has the uh, clamping system and a nut down at the bottom. But in, in general, I mean, it's the same design of the, the handguard as far as the, uh, the looks of it. But yeah. But that's radical. All right, thanks again for tuning in to another video. We really appreciate you guys tuning in. Go ahead and click subscribe. If you like this channel, you wanna see more of it, let us know in the comment section what you would like to see. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. And if you don't like the video, click the thumbs down button twice. Andrew over here getting getting stung by bees during the uh, shoot here of the 556 300 blackout. Oh, bitch, that mother. You need to take a break? I'm fine. All right. I am this is itching now. God damn. What the f